Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another goalie tips video and today we're talking about how to use the standing post hug and when to use it. It's a very advanced move so I suggest if you're new to goalie you don't worry about the standing post hug and you just try to work on getting control of your reverse VH and hugging the post in butterfly. A lot of people don't like the standing post hug because once you're in it and you want to drop the butterfly you get put in the VH instead of the reverse VH, which is what happens when you hug your post in butterfly normally. But when you stand up, hug the post, then hit butterfly, you get put in the VH. That means your leg is high up on the post and the other leg is on the ice, as opposed to having both legs flush with the ice. Why people think this is bad is because it's harder to control yourself coming off the post out of that position. You kind of shoot off the post. It's a, pretty much a bug. Uh, it has its uses, but for the most part, it's pretty unreliable. But the reason you do want to use it is because it's easier to control your goalie moving while standing up. And when you come off the post in the standing post hug, you get put into the middle of your net, which means you can cover more ground on one-timers. It means you can position yourself easier when the puck goes to the point. The only reason it's bad is because on wraparounds, it's hard to go from post to post. And when you're in the VH, it is tough to control coming off the post, so you have to be very careful when you do. So I like to use the standing post hug when the puck goes into the corner. I come on and off the post depending on which way the puck carrier is facing. If he's square to my net, looking at my net in the corner, I'm going to be on the post. And then as soon as he turns his back, I hop off the post because chances are he's not going to shoot it, not looking at the net between his legs, and it's not going to go in. I pretty much strictly use it when the puck goes into the corner, but there are plays that can develop from the corner, and you need to know what to do in those scenarios. So when the puck here is in the corner, and then he takes it behind the net, and there's a passing option out front near the tops of the circles, you know, they kind of have that angle where they might be on your short side but can still shoot far side for on the one-timer. That is the prime time to use the standing post hug because they cut behind your net, they make the pass out front, you can easily come off your post, you're in the middle of your net, and you can save it. Chances are if they go short side, you'll get a glove on it. If they go far side, you'll get a blocker on it. The next scenario is when there's a pass from the corner to the point. This is very good. This is the best way to use the standing post hug because puck in the corner, you're on your post standing up, they pass it back to the point. You don't want to be crazy out of position. All you have to do is come off your post, you're in the middle of your net, which is where you pretty much want to be just shading left or right a little bit depending on where the puck is at the point. And then you can position yourself based on if there's going to be a shot or another pass or they're going to carry it. It's way worse if you get caught in the butterfly and there's a pass to the point because you can only make very big changes to your positioning while in the butterfly. And that's, that's an issue when the puck's at the point because they have so many options. The other time that takes some getting used to is when someone cuts from the corner to your net. So I'm hugging it well, standing up, and they're cutting towards my net. Now they could go short side. I can't leave the post too early. But maybe there's someone in the top of the slot open for one time or two. That's what's great about the standing post hug in this situation. If you read that pass, you can come off the post and you'll be lined up right to save that one timer. If they don't pass it and they shoot short side, you're already hugging the post. So you're going to most of the time save it. And I say most of the time because there are some fluky cheesy bugs where it still sneaks in short side or if they shoot five hole you could be in trouble too as well that is the disadvantage to the standing post hug on top of what we've already listed uh, when you're in the standing post hug your five hole is wide open don't expect to save a wraparound while hugging the post standing up because you're not covering anything low um, you know it's just you do have to drop to the butterfly sometimes if you think they're going to go short side on you like that because you do have to close the five hole now, a big issue you're going to have when you first start using the standing post hug uh, is switching posts. Going post to post while in the standing post hug is a pain. You're not going to save a wraparound just switching standing up, okay? And it's very buggy going from the standing post hug to any sort of butterfly uh, post hug save animation. The best way I can tell you to do it is if you get caught in standing post hug on a wrap, use the right stick to try and get over. Or, always come off your post first and then re-hug the post. That will make the transition smoother. So, for example, I'm standing post hug on my left, 
post. The guy cuts behind the net, and I see he could go for a wraparound on my right side. So I'm not holding anything. I'm just hugging the post. I hit right on the left stick. That's the first step. Then I hit butterfly and post hug at the same time while still holding right. That should get me over to the other post quicker than it would uh, really using any other method. But you have to make sure you don't hold post hug first or you're just going to switch posts while standing up in the post hug still. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope it helped you out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more goalie tips in the future. I'll see you later.